Not quite, but but carry on, and I'll I'll respond. Well, if who we really are is not changed or harmed by any experience, yes. then we shouldn't be averse to any experience. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. Y yes and no. It's true that the background of awareness is uh, not um, in opposition to any experience. It neither desires any particular experience nor rejects any particular experience. And in other words, it is always in the same inherently peaceful condition. Uh, but there are times when the mind and the body are not required to be in peaceful conditions. For instance, just to take a rather extreme example, if suddenly a fire were to break out in this room, we would all get out of here as quickly as possible. We wouldn't just wander quietly and peacefully out of the building. <laughs> so, uh, and, and there are other times when the mind is, uh, our thoughts are, are required to, to be um, active and rapid. And so th there are times when it's necessary to react, uh, um, sometimes in dramatic ways. But yes, uh, that is always against the backdrop of this inherently peaceful background of awareness. And the more in touch we are with that, the more we f feel the peace of the background of awareness filtering through our everyday experience. Let, let me give you a, an example that is, that's not actually that far from the experience, the, the um, illustration I just gave you as many years ago when I lived in Shropshire and my studio when I was working as an artist were in two big old agricultural barns and the kilns were downstairs. One night the, the roof above the kilns caught fire and the whole place burnt down and I woke up in the morning to find the, the fire just starting. And when it became clear that there was nothing I could do about the fire, I had called the fire brigade and everything, I was sitting on the wall that by this time the fire had taken hold of the buildings, these huge buildings and they were ablaze. All the people in the village were coming, the fire engines were coming. It was total chaos. And these beautiful old 17th century barns were being burnt to the ground. And I was sitting with my assistant from Ghana, who had worked with me for many years, on, on, on a wall about um, maybe 30 metres from the, across the yard from, from, from my studio. And we were watching it. There was nothing we could do. You couldn't go closer. So we were sitting there just watching it in silence. We weren't saying anything. There was nothing else we could do. And I remember at the time feeling it was like a, a kind of wall of peace behind me. And it was made all the more palpable because of the drama of the situation in the foreground. Somehow made the peace in the background of experience all, all the more palpable. Well, that was a very extreme example. But actually, at any time in your life, however extreme or ordinary the circumstances, if, if you ever take a moment to check, in other words, if the attention is just taken off the objects for a moment, and, and that we refer to the background of experience, it's always there. It's always available, that same piece in the background of experience, no matter how difficult or demanding or agitated the circumstances are. So, so yes, there's that, that equanimity is, is the more in touch we are with the background of the awareness, the more that equanimity begins to permeate our thoughts, feelings, activities and relationships <coughs> during the day. But, but instinctive reactions are st still going to be part of who a we are. Absolutely, yes, yes. And not just instinctive reactions, but, but appropriate reactions 
to a situation, um, whatever the uh, any situation, and the, and the 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 response may not always be calm, peaceful. There are some situations that require uh, rapid, dramatic responses. Um, and you don't you don't uh, avoid the, those kind of responses. You you can just respond whatever is required in the moment in life. We, we we're totally open to it. We respond moment to moment. But if we're in touch with this background, the inherently peaceful presence of awareness in the background of experience, that will filter through more and more, and it will inform the way we respond to situations. <coughs> 